you know, my friend was showing me pictures of me writing with my writing partner in my garage. And now to be here at the, you know, the Chinese theater is insane. It's really, it's a pinch yourself moment. I mean, look at that. That's, that's, who is that guy? That's you. <laughs> I hope it's just fresh. It's it, it's different. I've made it with so much love. I think you know it's it's really um, it's kind of an ode to the genre, you know, and it's kind of this great cocktail of films spanning from Bruce Lee to Bollywood to the great Korean revenge movies. All of these things that have influenced me, and and I think there's a real beating heart in there at its core. It's saying some things, and it's it's not got just physical punches, but it's got some great emotional, political, socio-political punches in there as well. You know, revenge at its core is such a, it's like such a maximal feeling, you know. And so for me, the catalyst has to be as maximal, you know. And, you know, this is really about a, a traumatized individual, you know, who, who's kind of like a cornered animal. That's the title, Monkey Man. But, um, you know, it's, it's I, I hope the film's a very cathartic experience at its core, you know. And there's, there's a lot of humor. There's a lot of love. It's an ode to mothers. It's, there's, there's everything in there. We have this maestro in India called Zakir Hussain. Uh, he is one of the best uh, musicians to grace this planet. And we have one hell of a training montage with him in this. He's, uh, he's incredible. It's exciting, man. I'm just, I'm very curious, you know. I'm curious to see how people feel about the film. It's been made with a lot of love, a lot of passion. I'm excited for Dev. Uh, I'm just happy. I'm inspired. I really think this is Dev's coming of age, it's his renaissance and I'm here for it because I, I, it's really a story about underdogs who really, you know, uh, find their moment in the sun and I think that's a story everyone can relate to at some level, you know. It's an exciting, great action thriller kind of movie but at its core there's so much emotionality and there's so much vulnerability and uh, that's a beautiful balance and I, I want people to discover that. I want people to discover Dave's language. Very special. It was a very personal movie in the sense that I'm really close friends with Dev, and so there's kind of that extra uh, enjoyment of just sort of vicariously experiencing his sort of success and triumph with the movie because he put his heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears into it. For me personally it's just what I love about him as, a, as an artist is he has heart which is very unusual for action heroes. He has like a soul and a heart to him that I think permeates the movie beyond even what's in the script. It's just a, there's a soulfulness and a heart to the character. Um, it's not your typical tough guy. There's, there's there's heart there, which I think is special about this one. It's familiar in the sense that it's action. It's one of those things that's familiar but not too familiar. It's unique but but familiar enough. That's a better way to word it, I guess. So you've got the the, the total kind of Indian culture seeping through the movie, but it's still the action stuff that people love and kind of crazy, you know, action moves and like, oh my God, did he just do that? You know, moments. But it's unique. It's, it really is, uh, I think, at a time where a lot of stuff feels like a lot of movies kind of feel a little bit paint by numbers. It's a unique voice. It's a unique film that is not so unique that you don't go see it because you're like, you know what I mean? There's something about this where it's deeper than that, than like, yay, he killed the guy that killed his, what, you know what I mean? There's something almost, there's something poignant about the level of violence that he has to go to. It's almost for me like he doesn't really want to do it in a way. Like there's, there's a contemplativeness to it that doesn't normally exist in, in action movies. So I think that makes it special. I think this will be a word of mouth movie personally. I think people will go see it and go like, look, if you like action, you need to go see this movie. It's just done differently. One thing I must say about him, he knows what he wants. And now I've seen the film and I know what exactly he was fighting for. And uh, he always knew what exactly that he's looking for. And if it wasn't there, he, would, he will fight, he will wait, he will drive people crazy around him. But he knew what he needed, what he wanted from a shot, from a frame, whatever. And he fought for everything, actually. So that was amazing to watch somebody so passionate about, about it. You know, your film, when you're making a film, it's, like, it's almost like your baby. You don't want to see it hurt. You don't want to uh, send it, send send the kid to a wrong school or you know whatever. Everything, your world is surrounded. Uh, your world surrounds around your baby. So 
he was taking care of uh, his baby in a way actually. It's an action thriller, but I call it a very gentle film. There is a, there is a, there is an anger, there is an emotion attached to it, which is very soft. Deep inside, it's a very soft emotion. On the surface, there is a lot of, you know, action. Dev Patel, I feel like, even as a person, if you look at him as a person, he's an artist, he's vulnerable, but he also has the ability to pack a punch. Like, I've always felt that way. He's super, super talented. But when you meet him, he's like a very approachable, humble, shy guy. And I feel like that carries through to his character on screen. I, I, I have seen the film already. I, I could watch it a hundred more times. But you want an action star that you can actually see a part of yourself in. And I feel like sometimes when you watch action movies, you're like, oh, that person is so beyond anything I could ever physically, emotionally, mentally accomplished, but Dev's character in this film is actually someone where you watch him using amazing things, you're like, oh, like I actually like, get a part of him though, like a part of him is what I see in myself, and I think that's the perfect action hero. I think it's incredible, he works so hard on it. He, he said at South by Southwest, he had every obstacle come his way, he overcame every obstacle, but that's, that's art, and that's passion, and I'll, I'll even keep it real, that's often what it takes, especially for underrepresented voices to be heard. Like, our culture is so beautifully displayed in this movie in a way I've never seen it displayed before. And I wish I could say, oh, it's probably super easy to do that, but it's not. It's really, really hard. And I give him mad props for that. I think that the world is realizing something that a lot of communities have known for a really long time, which is you have a movie that is through the lens of South Asian culture, Indian culture. And there seems to be this idea that it's like, oh, I guess that's not for me, or I guess I can't relate to this movie, or I guess it's like I won't understand it. I grew up with friends. I understood everything. You know what I mean? So I think there's this understanding now that it's like, oh, there's a movie that is, yes, through a cultural lens, but I can enjoy that too. And the action is something I can get excited by. I don't need to be Indian or South Asian to see that this is an amazing action star. You know, this is someone that is just dope and the movie's just dope. I've been thinking about this a lot. I think there's something about Dev as a man and as an actor that he is an implicit underdog. And I think there's something everyone loves in seeing someone who you don't expect as the typecast for an action hero actually boiling over and totally kicking ass in a, in a fun, ad hoc, like Rube Goldbergian, anything, anything on hand I use as a weapon type of way. It's almost like, there's so much, I feel like there's a lot of action that is so choreographed to be about expertness. And I feel like with his, the, chore the choreography was all like predicated on what's this, a frying pan? Okay, great, that'll work. You know what I mean? In a flash. And I think we as, uh, as an audience fantasize about what we would do in weird circumstances and look at household objects and be like, yeah, I could use that. You know what I mean? Well, we've watched several other stars, you know, from India also coming here, Irfan, Ompuri, Nasir, and then you see yourself being here. I think that's incredible and a film which everybody wants to watch, everybody's looking forward. You know, my own guest, they said, Monkey Man, we're coming. <laughs> I still remember all his phone conversations when I was back in India and he would call and he would say, I know there are problems, this, that, blah, 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 blah. but I'm going to see you in uh, on sets and, and that was the thing you know he got me transported there were times where I was thinking whether I should really travel all the way to Indonesia be there for a month and a half you know for shoot and what you quarantine this blah 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 but all the always and what it was his spirit which because I had auditioned in 2018 and and that was the audition then we did then and we had worked well and we loved each other and he said, you know, actually because of him, his spirit, his persistence, his, his I think, belief in his story. And uh, that was quite addictive, you know. And as a director, I would say that whatever my look is in the film, he himself almost cut my beard, my, my moustache and got me the right look. And uh, I think being an actor, he really understood what actors loved and how to be directed and push actors' limit. And I think he's pushed us all well for the character. And I'm glad that where we are today, I think. Uh, that something is a divine justice for his effort. You can call it a revenge drama or revenge drama. The point is, it has deep down some of spirituality. And the legend of Numan is the, the new thing, which is to the adding to the action genre, I feel. It is uh, emotional and uh, it is yet very believable. Uh, 
monkey man who is a superhero but fighting for human operation and I feel in the times where you have people, you have the leaders, elite who are real but oppressing it, you know, they can call it. But at the same time you have a hero like a monkey man, I think, uh, with a legend behind. I think it's something serious, uh, wonderful blending of uh, mythology and reality. It's a dream come true. So excited about this movie. It's fun in like a big, big way in a time when the world really needs some fun in a really, really big way. So I'm very excited for people to see it. I think the movie speaks to some very universal themes. It speaks to the idea of protecting our families, standing up for what's right, feeling like uh, against really, really bad odds, you can sometimes save the world. Dev Patel is just basically like the atom bomb of charisma, right? I mean, just a one second of Dev on screen, you're like, I want that guy to win all the time. So that goes a really, really long way. But I think it's also, this is a story that's really rooted in something emotional. I think we can all get behind the feeling of wanting to protect your family and to stand up to oppression and, and, uh, and, and inequality. And uh, he gives us all a conduit, gives us a way to live that out in a pretty cathartic way.